And number five, we got three parts here. First, we've got to solve this equation. You'll note right away that it only has sines and cosines. And when you see that, it's a good strategy sometimes to divide everything by cosine. So when we do that in this case, we'll end up with 2 plus 3 tangent is equal to 0. And now all I've got to do is get the tangent x by itself. And I end up with tangent x is equal to the negative 2 thirds. I take the inverse of negative 2 thirds put that in my calculator and get my first angle of negative 33.7. Now I click and look, that's outside the range, so I add 180 degrees to it, I get to my next angle, that's going to be a good one, I add another 180, that's going to be another good one, I clearly can't add any more 180s, these are my two. You want to make sure that you're clear about the fact that which angles are good and which ones are no good. Now in part two, they want us to sketch both these graphs on the same graph. So let's see here, we'll make our little uh, graph. I can see the amplitudes. The midline is zero for both of them. I see the period is 360 for both of them. I see one's got an amplitude of three, and the other one's got an amplitude of two. And I can see the sine graph has been reflected on the x-axis. So. I can go ahead and do this. I know since it's going to have one, one period, and basically that's my shape, I'm going to go ahead and put 360, 180, 90, and 270 on my, on my graph. And these are going to be the major points that I'm going to go ahead and plot. And I could probably just sketch this, but if you're not comfortable with it, you can plug these points in the calculator and find out what the y values are when you put these angles in. And you'll see we get our little V-ish, U-ish shape. Make sure that you flatten out as you get to the edge. And that's the first one. Um, also, make sure that you label it. If there's more than one graph, more on, a, on the same graph, make sure you label one, both of them. And then typically, we have a sign of the hill and a valley, but it's, in, it's reflected. So this is going to be a valley and then a hill. That's what we're expecting. And so we still get 0 when we have 0, and then we put a 90 in and we get negative 3. We get 180. We put that in there and we get a 0. We put 270 in and we get positive 3. And then we put 360 in and we get 0. So then we're going to go ahead and just make a smooth curve, try to make it look nice. There you go. So that's the answer to that. We'll go ahead and label our sine graph. And that should be good for that. Now for part three, it says use the answers in part one and two to find the set of x values that uh, two cosine plus three sine is greater than zero. Now you take a look here, this is y equals negative three sine. If I put it like this, subtracting three sine on both sides, well basically what it's saying is find the x values of the angles where the cosine graph is greater, higher, than the sine graph. And if I use part one, well you'll notice 146 degrees, that looks like that's what that is right there where they intersect. And 326.3, that looks like that is there where we intersect. And if you take a look before that point and after that point, the cosine graph is above the sine graph. So this is what I put in for my answer. Now technically, I mean, this is, this is what it says in the rubric. This is perfectly good. Technically, I mean, we should put boundaries on there saying, for example, it's actually between 0 and 146, and it's actually between 360 and 326. But I don't want to confuse anybody. In the back of the, or in the rubric, it says if you write it like this, they'll be perfectly fine with it. All right, I hope that helped, and thanks for watching.